Hi, it's Joey, and today I'm going to be watching Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 5, Episode 18, All Roads Lead. I'm sorry there wasn't a reaction last week. I've been getting really busy at the weekend and I didn't have any time to record it or react to it, but I watched it. I thought it was a really, really good episode. I thought we, I nearly died when Deke nearly died, and then Deke in the bank, and it was hilarious. Um, yes, a lot of stuff happened. Yo-Yo's arms, she had a problem with them on the mission, just like I thought she would. So yeah, um, that was definitely quite a tense situation, so I'm quite eager to get back to it. Let's go. Oh dear. Poor Talbot, he's been through so much. Oh, not weapons, oh god. These weapons places need to be better guarded. Happy to comply. This has been an excellent start. Engineering, she's biotech. We're a team. Season one throwback. <gasps> oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, please. <laughs> I forgot to mention them at preview. Have a chance May's confession. I said what I had to say. <laughs> <laughs> You're wearing body spray. May and I go in, we get the gravitonium, get the clean off the board. You need me to uh, back you up, or? You literally just got shot. Why are you out of bed? <laughs> I've handled worse. Thank um, God for Dick this season. Such All a right. yeah, light That's how you want to play it. Awesome. Okay, so see what's wheels up in five. Let's go. We're All right, crazy. people, you heard her. Let's get to work. <laughs> Getting good at this. You are for a well-timed rescue. I love them so much. <sighs> yeah. You guys need to relax. Daisy is gonna figure all this stuff out. <laughs> He's so not subtle. <laughs> what was that? That dude's got a bad. <laughs> Whatever that means. You're in love with her. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, no offense, Mac, but I think your radar is way misfiring on this one. <laughs> I was convincing, I believe him. Thank you. <laughs> you confessed, you idiot. You hooked up on painkillers. Piper and I couldn't get you to shut up about it. No? That's... <laughs> okay, guys. What, you've never heard that drugs can make you say stuff that's a little crazy? Maybe that's why drugs are bad. It's obvious. I figured it out a while ago. Me too. All right, well, it doesn't matter. She hates me anyway. Most definitely. <laughs> no. Just for grins, say I were interested. In someone, anyone. How would I? Like you got a good thing going. Don't look at me. <laughs> Last time I saw Yo Yo, she lied to me, locked me up, and ran off. Colson? Sorry, bro. Apparently, I'm incapable of expressing my feelings or letting people take care of me. Well, you guys are useless. <laughs> it's lemons, then. <laughs> Come again. In my day, when you wanted to tell someone how you felt, you just save up your tokens, you buy a lemon, you leave it on their bunk. Cause that's that's a thing here, right? <laughs> He's not quite nice. Oh, any chance. Absolutely. When in doubt, oh, do get a bunch of lemons. <laughs> I actually really wanted to really take some lemons because she'd be so confused. I need some lightness in this show, thank God for Any, Deke. Anybody home? Oh no. Talbot. Game on. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> Love Daisy and May working together. I do kind of wish there were more than two of them, but I surrender. And no mistake, she will kill them. Well, that's gonna get them to help. Back up on its way now, guys. Finally, because they finally know where you are. Oh gosh, here we go. So her arms can just about make it a short distance. Oh god. This is why she really shouldn't have gone on this mission. Oh no. I'm sorry, Katie's okay. gonna kill her mum because she doesn't have a mum in the future. Well, she does, it's me. I'm sorry. Are you impossible? Well, soon the answer to that question is always yes. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm saying you have to be careful. No matter <laughs> what, I'm not going to use my powers around the gravitonium. That wasn't what he meant. If you meant. won't quake and roof at risk like that. We'll make those decisions, Phil, not you. They all care about each other so much. It physically hurts. So go through Rob. Really sorry about this. Oh my god. Robin, go and get help. Oh, she can't because she. Oh my god. Robin, run and get help. What does run? Is she alive still? 
Rip and run. You're coming with me. I know. Oh gosh, no one should run. I don't like trusting Hale. It isn't her fault she's the way she is. Yeah, well said, Daisy. I'm pretty tense. This is not good. So the crush anyone wants to go into it? He's <laughs> got a lemon. We're wasting our Please tell me she's alive. She's breathing. Where's Robin? <sighs> Said he was happy to comply. That should have been a red flag, Matt, but you heard place. that. How could I have missed it? We have to find them. Yes. I'll stay with her. I'm with Fitzsimmons. <laughs> this is... Oh, gosh. Oh, God. Well, it was never going to be pleasant. Ruby. 8%. Oh, dear. It's all very cool, but... She's gonna kill him. I'm not going anywhere. Yes, you are. <laughs> oh my god. She can't control it either. Oh god. She needs to learn to control it at least. Come back, I need you. Okay. God. I can't. I can't complete the mission. Oh God. I gotta stop myself. No. Put the gun down. Oh God. There was only one course of action. Just put it down. No. I have been right where you are. Mm -hmm. And I know that it seems impossible right now, but you will overcome this. Try not to lose control. Okay, your powers will only get more dangerous. Oh God. Stop, don't do this. It doesn't matter anyway. And trust my thoughts. You can get help. You get Creel help. No way. Oh, George, I'm sorry. Put the gun down. Your compliance will be rewarded. You're just trying to trick me. Then turn the gun on me. God. Turn the gun on me. I mean, I know someone won't die now like this, but... <sighs> I am more than you will ever be. Sure. In all the best ways. Yeah, I am not. Oh my god. <gasps> Hurry up, please do because she can't use her powers around the gravitonium. Ruby, that's enough! That's enough! <coughs> She's trying so hard to help you, Ruby. You've moved on terrible things. Do you smell? <sighs> I mean, I do blame Hale for all of this. She distorted everything Ruby could be into making her this. It's all Hale's fault. Oh, you're the one that took her. Here you go. She's a kid. She is terrified. I can see both sides, but she is a kid. Ruby. Ruby. Oh my gosh. What did you do? Oh my god. I mean, it, it, uh, is she actually dead? Or is she going to come back to the Gravitonium somehow and be like even evil? Oh my god. I mean, there are many sides to it. There's the side that she was a kid who'd been used and everything, but then there's the side to it that she was losing control. And, okay, I don't. I have a feeling that she's not actually going to stay dead. That maybe Ruby's dead, but the gravitonium is not, or something. Oh gosh. What happened? Where is she? Oh my god. Okay, so she's dead. And the gravitonium hasn't taken over. Killed her! No. I just saved the world. I can see both sides to be perfectly honest. Because again, this show isn't a show where we just out and out kill our bad guys if there's another way, but they was reaching the point where there probably was no other way, so I do see both sides and it's a mess. Oh no, now what's gonna happen? Is she gonna call the Korean for revenge? Because she was the real architect of everything Ruby did. Oh gosh, 
She's doing the true villain of the season more than Ruby was. Ruby's actions were more physically the villain, but... You'd have me kill them. I have no reason to stop you. Well, I was, I wasn't, I wasn't expecting that. I mean, with Ruby, it was reaching the point where I was thinking, well, how else are we going to stop this if, you know, she doesn't get it under control, which there were no signs that she, oh, I don't know, there were no real signs that she could. So, I, I mean, I get why Yo-Yo did it, because she was very clearly becoming out of control, and she was the one that took Yo-Yo's arm, so for Yo-Yo, that was all very, very emotional um she was already in that emotional place with that, wanting revenge, wanting to make her get retribution for it, and also thinking that, oh, she's the destroyer of worlds, if I kill her, then there is no destroyer of worlds. But that is the same logic that the people that killed wanted to kill Daisy in the future used, and we were against them doing it then. So, uh, I'm a, I, it's so hard because, it's again, it's another one of those grey decisions that I'll probably be told in the comments that my opinion on is entirely wrong. But um, I get why you did it, and I don't blame her at all. Like, I'm not saying, like, how dare you do that? Because it makes sense. Of course it makes sense. But then there's also the side of it that she was a kid, that she had been used um, all her life and warped into the person she'd become, and that maybe there would have been a chance for her to come around. It hadn't maybe quite reached the stage where there was no chance. But then if you look at it back from Yo-Yo's side, well, what if that chance, um, you by the time you that chance was gone, it was also too late to stop her. So, like, it's very messy, and I'm sure the team have got a lot more to deal with now. Hooray! It was not what I expected. I mean, they reached a point with Ruby where it's sort of like, I don't see them saving her in this. I don't know how she's not getting it under control. But, I mean, when Daisy first got her powers, she didn't have a murderous past. <laughs> but she found it really hard and she thought she was losing her mind and she thought she'd never be able to control it and that she was going to destroy the world one day or destroy the building, kill everyone around her because she couldn't control it. And then she embraced her gift. But then she didn't have Hall and Quinn in her mind screaming. So I do think that there probably was no hope for for Ruby, but Yo Yo was also very very quick to kill her. So that's kind of the two sides of it. I think ultimately again the team will move will get past this because Ruby had been consistently villainous, and although she was young, and although she had been used by her mother, she had kind of by entering the chamber that was almost a process that could not be returned. So um, going to be stopped. Sorry, not returned. It does seem a little bit like all roads are leading to the world being destroyed. Because, well, I mean, so obviously Ruby's not going to be the one to do it. Or she's dead, and I wondered for a moment if it was going to be like the Gravitonium possessed her or something, but that wasn't what happened. I wonder if that discharge thing that the Gravitonium left off, let out is going to somehow be significant, or if that was just um, sort of the explosion of it leaving her body that knocked Daisy and Yu-Yu out so that Hale could escape. Obviously, Hale's um, people are going to come and try and get the Gravitonium, and it could be somehow that they destroy the world. Or it could still be Daisy using her powers near the Gravitonium that destroys the world. But I feel like the world's obviously not going to be destroyed. Um, yeah, it was it was a lot. I mean, again, I'm not anti yo doing it, but I also am anti yo doing it <laughs> like a mixture. Because I think her motives weren't entirely trying to save the world, but at the same time, yeah, Ruby was very clearly spiralling out of control. So, and she did need a lot of rehabilitation <laughs> had that been the road they went down. And um, then I can see also why Daisy was upset. Um, gosh, that was yet another dilemma for these characters that they presented us with. I think Daisy is always very much somebody that wants to do things the right way and to be do the make the right choice, the choice the hero should make. And it's like one of those things that in the flash of the day, Barry said was that you know we don't always ha we never have to kill. Like, we never have to kill our enemies. I think that's the viewpoint Daisy wants to have, wants S.H.I.E.L.D. to have. So therefore she'll be against what Yo-Yo did but especially to someone that was young, etc. But at the same time, of course, we can all understand why you did it. And, you know, it, if it was Ruby or the world, probably when we should kill Ruby. So, yeah, that was yeah, that was a lot. I enjoyed being the episode, The Lightness of Deke. I think his character's been wonderful. He's been excellently handled. He is funny, but he's not that kind of annoying funny that certain other characters in other shows can be when they're just the humorous person. Um, but I really like him, and I love his crush his love for Daisy it's really funny and the fact that the rest of them know about it and I really really hope there's a little moment where she comes home and finds lemons on her bunk um and even if she never finds out what that meant but yes so um on that was yet another amazing episode from this show I'm glad the team is finally back together I think maybe they can I mean there's gonna be a hell of a lot going on next episode I don't think they're gonna have much time to sit and talk through their feelings 
but I also need them to sit and talk through their feelings at least a little bit to try and get back to a place where they're all okay with each other and they're all I mean families have issues families go through hell I'm sure families do the sort of things they've been doing to each other too but they can get through it and I'm looking forward to seeing it so yes that's my reaction to this episode I can't wait for next week's thank you for watching <laughs>